Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day, again, it's gonna be kind of a high protein one, also intermittent fasting, that kind of stuff, and of course, vegan. So please enjoy this video. So instead of having a cup of tea or coffee, this morning I decided to make fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. So grapefruit juice is really high in vitamin C and vitamin A, both of which help your immunity, which I feel like especially now because I feel like literally everybody is sick. Um, this is especially important. So I've just been loving making like fresh squeezed orange juice or grape juice, grape, grapefruit juice every morning. Um, and I basically pour this in a jar and then I put it in the refrigerator for a little bit um, while I made my breakfast so it could chill. For breakfast, I decided to make some oatmeal, but first I caramelized some bananas. So I just melted some butter in a pan with some coconut sugar, and then I just added some sliced bananas, and I just let those fry while I prepared the oatmeal. So for the oatmeal, I just had rolled oats, I added in some almond milk, stirred that around, I added in some maple syrup, and then I also added in some frozen berries, which I've said before, but it's like one of my favorite things to do because they melt inside the oatmeal and they just get give the oatmeal like a really super good flavor. Then I added in a couple tablespoons of chia seeds and I basically just let that cook. And then by this time, my bananas were frying and caramelizing just perfectly, so I flipped them over. And then once everything was done, I just poured that into a bowl. I accidentally messed up though because I put the caramelized bananas on top of the oatmeal before I stirred in my protein powder. So the bananas were supposed to be like a topping, but I ended up stirring them into the whole thing because I added in <laughs> my protein powder. Um, so I just added in one scoop of protein powder. It's um, chocolate flavor and I stirred that around. I've said this before, but if you're gonna make like protein oatmeal, you wanna add the protein powder after the oatmeal's cooked and not cook it with it, because the protein powder will get like a super gross consistency. So then I just topped that with some coconut granola from Costco, and of course some peanut butter, and that was my breakfast. I also took two of these vegan collagen boosts by the brand Ray. So for lunch, I had these X burgers that I think are super good. They're really high in protein. This is what the patty looks like. So I just cooked that from frozen onto a pan sprayed with a little bit of some spray oil. And then for toppings, I added, I had some vegan cheese, some bitchin' sauce. The cilantro chili is my favorite flavor. Some vegan mayonnaise, and then some lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickles. So I just cooked the patty and once I flipped it over, I added a slice of cheese on and then I covered that up so that the cheese would melt. This is a very good trick to let to get vegan cheese to melt because sometimes it can be really hard. Then I just prepped the buns, so I added the vegan mayonnaise and the bitchin' sauce. And then I added on the patty and then I basically just stacked everything up. So the pickles, tomatoes, onions, and lettuce. And that was it for the burger. And then I just added some barbecue chips to have on the side. So this was definitely like a super yum lunch, like not my typical lunch, like not like a healthy salad or bowl, but I still think this was so good and really high in protein and honestly just one of my favorites. So for dinner, I decided to make a green chef meal and I went with the bulgogi noodle bowl, which is completely vegan. So this video is sponsored by Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that includes meal plans like paleo, vegan, vegetarian, keto, balanced living, and family. They have step-by-step -step instructions with pictures to guide you along and all of the ingredients come prepared and mostly prepped so that most of the work is already done for you. Making the recipes is super simple. You just follow along and they're already pre-portioned so it has the perfect amount and it just tells you exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. 
Green Chef is perfect for if you're trying to eat healthier or you just don't have that much time to cook meals or you're just trying to try something new because all of their meals that I've ever tried are always things that I would have never thought of on my own. So it always allows me to branch out, try new things, um, and honestly, it helps me get better at cooking. If you would like a total of $80 off plus free shipping, go to greenchef.us slash Angelina80 and click get started. Okay, so that is it for this video. I did not have dessert for once, surprise, surprise. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you wanna see more and I will see you in the next one.